guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're transforming into this. I usually start my videos with no makeup on. I couldn't do it today. I'm battling the lurky. I am not feeling my best, but you would never know now. I am super excited to say that this video is sponsored by Flannels. I am a Flannels Beauty Ambassador and drum roll. Drum. I have come out with my own beauty edit. I have selected five of my favorite products of all time. Most of these will not be a shock to you at all. I have been working on this edit with flannels and I have named it Polished and Perfected. These are basically products that I feel that like you can use every single day that feel like treats every single day and you can use them no matter what look you're going for, if that makes sense. These products will just help you polish and perfect your look every time that you use them. There are some real favourites in there from brands like Laura Mercier, Omarovica, Nude Sticks. It retails for £65, which is a saving of over 50%. So it's such a great time to try these products. And I know that so many of you, we share a lot of the favourite products. So I just think it's such a cute thing. I'm going to go through the edit really, really quickly just to show you exactly what's in there. But if you stay tuned, I'm going to be getting ready today. And you'll see that it's quite a transformation because at the start, it does not look like this. It does not look like this. I'll pop it on the screen exactly how you will receive your kit. I have my kit here. I've just used literally all of my products. So why don't we put them back into the little makeup bag? So there's five products in my kit, six if you include the bag. And we have here the most gorgeous bag from the Flatly Co. It is so handy. It literally, it pulls into this little pouch. I actually have, I have another one. I have a black one because I'm obsessed. I love using them for my kit, but also for your makeup bag, it's perfect. So what, what are we gonna find in here, you ask? Let me show you. First of all, we have the Omorovica Queen of Hungry Mist, a classic. Next up, we have the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay, another classic. I'm going to say that about every single product in here, aren't I? Uh, the Bondi Bay from Nude Sticks. Laura Mercier TLSP Translucent Loose Setting Powder. In it goes. We have the Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil, a uh, must. And then finally, we have the Here by Sam McKnight Cool Girl Barely There Texture Spray. And all of these products come in your bag for £65. Brilliant. Like I said, I'm going to show you how I got this entire look, not only using my products from my kit, but loads of other beauty faves from flannels. My edit, Polished and Perfected, is available for pre-order right now. There are very limited quantities and they actually go on sale on Friday the 19th of November. So if you like what you see, I would maybe be quite quick about it because I do think that these are just going to disappear. If you would like to see how I created this look, the makeup and the hair on the dress, then please stay tuned. Hello. <laughs> it's been a wee while since I didn't start a video with no makeup on, but today I couldn't do it because <laughs> your girl is looking a little bit rough. Okay, so the makeup look we're going to do in the whole ensemble is very polished and perfected, which is the opposite to how I'm feeling on the inside. So it's going to be a bit of a transformation. I know I say that in every video, but I really mean it this time. I am going to be peppering in the gorgeous products from my edit during this makeup tutorial. And everything else that I use today is from Flannels, Flannels Beauty, as a Flannels Beauty Ambassador. I think this makeup looks going to be really beautiful. And with the clothes and the hair, I was going to say perfume, you won't be able to smell it, but you'll get the vibes. And yet hopefully the difference between the start of the video and now is very different. Let's start with skincare. First product in my edit that I'm going to use is the Omarovica Queen of Hungry Mist. Have you been here long enough to remember this? It is the most beautiful spritz. Look at that mist. Oh. And all of these products are just like everyday products you can use actually every day that are just a little bit of luxury because they make you feel great. I remember back in the days of long haul flights using this mist on a plane and just feeling like the bee's knees. So that is a really great prep spray. Uh, it works the same as kind of like a toner as well. Let's move on to hyaluronic. Now I am a huge fan of hyaluronic acids. I've dabbled in them, in them all. This is definitely the bougiest of the bougie. I'm gonna use the Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. The creme de la creme of hyaluronic acids. Yeah, huge treat. But I'm gonna pop this on all over and this is gonna give my skin some much needed hydration. Next up is moisturizer. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So nice under makeup. This is a classic. Charlotte Tilbury launched her brand with this product. The story goes that this was her 
top secret backstage when she was working on the red carpet. I think she mixed it up and she would give supermodels, actresses, she would give them little tubs on it to try and that's what she launched her brand with. So it's a really iconic product. Really nice moisturiser, great underneath makeup like I said and this is going to act as our moisturiser today. The last step in my skincare routine this morning is the Kiehl's, <laughs> that's got a long name, Kiehl's Ultralight Daily UV Defence Aqua Gel. Another real favourite of mine. SPFs are something that I um, have become rather passionate about lately. And I do have a few favourites, but this was one of the first SPFs that I thought, yep, yeah, I can use this every day underneath makeup by itself, whatever. Just make sure that you use enough product. And I'm just going to rub that in. You'll see that I get a slight white cast, but just keep on rubbing and it just disappears into your skin. And it gives a nice tacky base as well. Let's move on to our base. I'm gonna do my base first today because the makeup is it's very, like I said, very polished and perfected. Not too much coverage, not too heavy on the eyes. It's all very, I suppose it looks quite red carpet by the end. That's the plan anyway. I'm gonna use a tinted moisturizer today. This is the Laura Mercier oil-free tinted moisturizer in the shade 3 in 1 Sand. I'm actually going to apply this with a brush. Uh, just the desired look that I want is that of a tinted moisturizer, but I just want a wee bit more coverage. And it's gonna give us a nice light coverage. We can add concealer for spot concealing and things, but this is just a winner, especially if you are not a huge heavy makeup wearer, if you're not a fan of wearing full coverage foundation. I do, I, I actually like it all. I barely wear makeup. I like, I like wearing no makeup and then I like wearing all of the makeup. But we're gonna pop this on, like I said, with the brush and just build it up in the areas that we need. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser is actually something that I've realised I like all year round. There are some products that I definitely gear towards summer and some that I like for winter, but this works so nicely during both just because it's nice and hydrating, long lasting. It never makes my skin look dry or too oily. Really like it. Very happy with that. Let's move on to our concealer. I'm gonna use the fave NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. And I'm gonna pop this everywhere I need it, definitely under my eyes today. Definitely around my nose, which is a wee bit red. And by putting your concealer just here and here, you get a really nice lift to the eye area, which I like. And then let's do it in here too. Just adding that coverage to the center of the face. I talk about this all the time, but I love to have more coverage in the center of my face because that's really where people are looking all the time. The sides of your face, as long as it blends in and it blends in your neck and in your ears and things like that, you really don't need that much. Just really patting that in. We've got our tinted moisturiser on, we've got our concealer on. What we're going to do next is our cream product. I have two here from Nude Sticks. I have Bondi Bay and I have Sweet Peach Peony. So we've got a kind of bronze contour and a blush. Bondi Bay is in my edit. This product is so good. I have used it for years. Really nice multitasker as well. You can use it over your eyes. But the reason that I love it so much is just as a cream bronzer, honestly. So I'm going to start by applying that around my head, my cheeks. I'm going to be quite generous with the amount of product I use under my chin. Little trick, see just here, like so. That's going to pull up everything as well. So let's do that on the other side. Cute. I'm going to go straight in and blend this out now. So with my bronzer, I just make sure that it's really buffed out underneath my jawline and that there's no harsh lines. Again, I'm just using the same brush foundation brush. Nude Sticks product works so well, full coverage on no coverage at all on bare skin and then on light coverage like I've done today. Again, just make sure that you're using these nice lifting movements. And don't worry about the creaminess because we're going to take that down with a powder. Okay, so that's added some nice colour to our skin. We're going to go in with Sweet Peach Peony, really beautiful colour, and I'm literally going to apply that above where I bronzed and then onto the cheek slightly. It's a really beautiful colour. It's quite glossy as well, which is nice. It's gonna give our skin a nice glow. And then I like to just do a little bit down the nose as well. And even though we're using layers of product, I'm not going in with tons to the point where my skin looks heavy or like there's too many layers. It still looks very fresh. I'm gonna go back in with Bondi Bay and I'm just gonna go under my nose and at the sides just to add that little bit more bronze. We need to set this face, which brings me on to my next product in my edit. Uh, Laura Mercier TLSP Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It's the business, it's the best loose powder. It has a really faint, it's, it's translucent, it has a really, really faint yellow tone, which is great, it means that it's never gonna look ashy. The way that I'm gonna use it is I'm gonna grab some powder, pop it in the lids, and just really press that into my brush. And then I'm just gonna go around and pat to set 
my face. I'm not going to set my cheekbones, but I'm going to set pretty much everywhere else. You can bake with this as well. Uh, it's just totally down to your personal preference because we're going for quite a like a light coverage and, and quite soft skin. I'm not going to do that, but I do just get the powder and sweep and pat under my eyes. And this just means it's going to stay there forever. It's very blurring without taking away any of the like the natural radiance in your skin. It's matte without being too matte, if that makes sense. While we're here, I am going to set my bronzer slightly. Just I want to kind of deepen it up at the back as well. So I'm going to use Hula Caramel, oldie but great. And I'm just going to pat in there to get a little bit of product. And I'm only going to use this right at the back of my cheeks. So just here. It's going to give us a wee bit more shape, a wee bit more dimension and a bit more colour as well. And it's also just going to set that bronzer. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to push that bronze into my hairline, a wee bit under my nose as well and at the side. Let's set this face, I'm going to use Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm going to do a generous dose. Even though we don't have tons of makeup on our skin, setting spray is a must. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then my one biggest tip, if you're struggling with your makeup moving around throughout the day, powder, then set and then go in with a little bit more powder in the centre of your face and it just won't move. While I'm waiting for my face to dry, I'm actually going to kind of prime my eyes a little bit and I'm just going to go in with my concealer and you'll see why the eye look I'm doing today is so easy. If it turns out like what I've pictured in my head, it's going to be very nice. Really light layer, right up to the brow as well because we're going to do our brows in a second. And then now that my setting spray is mostly dry, I'm going to take that powder and I'm going to go over my eyes and then I'm going to re-powder just here in the centre of my face. Anywhere where your makeup tends to crease and move around, just re-powder. What you're left with is really beautiful glowy skin that's going to last. Let's move on to eyes. So eyes are going to be super easy but very beautiful. I have here the Charlotte Tilbury Jewel Pot in the shade Walk of No Shame. It's a really beautiful pink that has gold through it as well, which is really nice. Actually, I'll zoom you in. <laughs> So you can see my blank eyelids. The plan is, I'm literally gonna get this on my brush. So it's a really beautiful consistency as well. It's really easy to use. Uh, I'm gonna spray my brush with my all nighter and we're just gonna pop this on all over our eye. And it's just a really lovely rose gold. It's like pink, it's like a pinky gold. It's not even rose gold, it's like a pink gold. I'm spraying that and then I'm applying and the setting spray just makes it a little bit more like liquid, like a cream, which makes it really easy to place and you won't get any fallout. So I'm going to pop this on literally all over my eye and I'm going to slightly shape it so on the outer corner I'm going to leave it at a point. Like that it looks like a whole eye look and I just use one product. Right, and I'm just making sure to take my time to get product exactly where I want it. And I'm kind of going in with the product a little bit dry as well, just to set the first damp layer that I put on. Now it's up to you. You could use a different brush and get a really hard line if you like and create a little bit more of a graphic eye. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a, a slightly fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out. And because it's shimmer, it is the easiest thing to blend. It's a really easy eye look. So what you end up with is a real wash of pinky gold shimmer. Really nice. While we're at this step, I'm actually going to skip and do my brows now. Brows are super simple for this look. It's like my new favourite way to do them. I'm going to use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit and then Gimme Brow Plus in the shade number four. And the way that I'm going to do this is literally just load up my brows with the brow setter. Being quite careful not to get it all over my face, like all over my forehead, because when this dries, it does dry like slightly shiny. And then I just keep on going backwards and forwards until it starts to dry. And then I just go in with a spoolie and really comb through them and put them in their place. It's more like a groomed eyebrow than a totally done eyebrow. I can see that little hair is going to annoy me. Now let's put some gimme brow through them and that's just going to, it's going to make them a wee shade darker, but not much. And it's just going to, plump them up slightly. Okay, so it's looking, I think it's looking really nice, really simple as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of drama with a wing. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm gonna do quite skinny wings that go straight out, because I'm not gonna wear lashes with this look, but I'm gonna really build up my mascara. So I'm gonna go in and just do it quite straight out, like so. And then I just go halfway along my lash line, again, keeping it really skinny. So it's more, it just kind of elongates my eye more than anything. And then I'm going to use my Urban Decay Lash Street Mascara to really build up my lashes top and bottom. With this mascara, 
if you use it, if you, if you persist and go back and do a few coats on each eye, the lashes you get are pretty amazing. So if you're not a lash wearer, but you want the effect of, I suppose, a false lash, you should definitely try this. Just going backwards and forwards. That's me done one coat on each eye. And I'm just going back into this side to really plump them up a bit more. You can also use the brush to angle your lashes where you like. So I love to have the outer corner so it really lifts the, the ends of my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with whatever's left on the bottom lashes. Okay, we're nearly done. I'm going to use my classic Benefit Roller Liner in Brown for my little freckle. Let's zoom you out and do our highlight in our lips. <laughs> Okay, I think that looks really, really nice, really fresh. To add to the freshness, I'm gonna use the sold out, but now back in stock, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. This is in the shade Spotlight, and I'm gonna just push. The way that you work this is you twist, you squeeze, and then once you've got product coming out, you just twist it back so it shuts. And I'm just gonna pat that on my cheeks. I mean, I was already kind of glowy. I'm just gonna get a wee brush, and I'm just gonna pat that out. It's a really beautiful product. And then for lips, I'm going to do my classic. I'm going to do a lip liner and a lip balm. The liner I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in the shade Liar, which again is a really old favourite of mine. And then I'm just going to pop the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir. So I'm going to get my lip liner and I'm just going to draw in the centre. This is a really nice, like, deep lilac pink. And I'm drawing that slightly onto my lip as well. And then before it dries, I'm going to take my finger and just blend. And then at this stage, I'm going to add my magic lip oil. I used to do my lips this colour all the time. I forgot how much I liked it. It's like a lilac, isn't it? Like a deep lilac. And if you need to, I would get a cotton bud and almost just exfoliate my lips with it. And this is such a good trick for lips that last a long time. They look finished, but you actually don't have anything on in the centre. If you use a lip liner like this that dries down, it's not going anywhere. Just to add to the whole glowy dewiness of the look, I'm going to get a little brush and take some of that Beauty Light wand and I'm just going to tap that on my brow bone and then I'm going to add a little bit of that to the inner corner as well. So just because it's got a sponge applicator doesn't mean that you can't go in with a brush as well. So I'm literally just going do -do -do -do, and then just add in light wherever I want it. Super easy. Wow. And I'm also going to use that on the tip of my nose and then down the centre. Might take a wee bit of bronzer on my ears. So when I was doing my makeup, I used three products that are in my edit. The other two are actually for your hair, and they're two products that I use, I would say, most days. So my hair at the moment is up in a ponytail. It has been for the weekend. But, you know, it's the festive season. We don't have time. It's a very, very busy time, but we've got a lot of appointments, a lot of events. Um, so this is how I kind of fix my hair. So this is going to really change it up for us. So I'm going to take it out my ponytail. I'm going to brush it out. And before I get into the products that are in my edit, I'm going to dry shampoo my hair. So this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. It has a very good spray on it. Really, really great product. I'm quite obsessed actually, but I'm going to spray this in the roots of my hair. Give it a good shake. I'm literally just going right round and don't forget the back. Okay, and then what we do, what do we do? We wait for 30 seconds. 30 seconds and then you're going to give it a rub, give it a massage and then we're going to brush it out. It is phenomenal. If you are trying to wash your hair less, I see a lot of people are trying to cut down to maybe like once or twice a week. Brilliant. Best dry shampoo. So, so good. And you'll see, look, do you see that it's just starting to get a little bit more life put back into it? So once I've rubbed that in, I'm going to get my brush and I'm just going to brush my hair out. Now, I styled my hair a fair few days ago. My hair holds a uh, curl really well. So by just using dry shampoo and brushing it, I've still got this wave in my hair. So all I need to do is, is give it a little bit of love. Hair is looking much, much better, but it could be even better, which brings me on to my next two products in my edit. First of all, we have the Hair by Sam McKnight Cool Girl Barely There Texture Mist. So good. And the way that I like to use this is the butterfly, okay? So you grab your hair and you, you let it drop and just spray this through it. And what you're gonna get is a really beautiful, 
texture, it makes it really easy to style your hair. If you have fine hair and you feel like your hair can be a bit flat, adding a little bit of this to it will give it the grip and the body to let you do, you know, like a, like a messy bun or a textured ponytail. It just is so good. And this is the only travel size, everything else is full size. This is the travel size, which I actually think for hair is great. I'm gonna just butterfly and spray it. And do you see the volume? Oh my goodness. It's the it's so good. There we go. And like I like to get a wee bit of lift in my fringe. I've got that width and that texture through my hair, but my own hair, so I wear extensions, my own hair is a little bit frizzier than the extensions. Hair oil. I use hair oil almost every day, especially on my ends. And the last product in my edit is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. Jack Baxter, my hairdresser, got me on this months ago. It takes so long to go through a bottle, but I have gone through one bottle already. This is my second. Olaplex, the brand, it's just a brand powerhouse, a hair powerhouse. Um, I've got a couple of drops in my hand. I'm just gonna rub together and then I'm Quite smart about this, I go through the mid lengths where my hair joins my extensions and just gently pull the product through and I do the same with the, with the ends of my extensions. And this just gives the most lovely PC, lived in hair texture, really easy to style. Obviously it's healing, it's healing for your hair. And it also smells amazing. And any ends that feel dry, like see just here, I'll grab my fringe and just go like that. So that's all the products used in my edit. I am going to get changed, I have an outfit. Uh, my outfit's also from Flannels and it is actually for my Christmas party. I have a Christmas party in a couple of weeks time and I saw this dress and I was like, this is the one, it's the one. Wait, do you wanna see? Oh my God, look at it. The most amazing, do you know what I have? I have never had a dress like this in my life, never. Uh, and I'm really, really excited about it. So I'm gonna go and get put in this and I'll be right back. I need Jack's help to step up. Look at this. Oh my God. It fits like a dream and look at the hair. I am too excited. I don't know what I'll do for, I don't know what I'll do for jewelry. Yeah, I love it. It's even got padded shoulders. I actually have earrings as well. One of the first presents that Jack ever bought me was a pair of Vivian Westwood earrings and my first ever designer handbag was a Vivian Westwood bag. So, I got some earrings. These are so cool. I actually saw a friend of mine wearing these. They really stood out to me. I just thought they were so cool. Oh! I will always love Vivian Westwood. How cool. These are just iconic to me. I love the Vivian Westwood necklaces as well. I think this is so good. These earrings are only 75 pounds. I always thought it was so much more expensive than that. And then we're nearly ready. The last thing is perfume. And one of my favorite ever perfumes, I wore this on my wedding day, is the Le Labo Santal 33. So even though you can't smell it. The only thing that I've not showed you until the end, I suppose I'll show you in the beginning as well, um, is the bag. The makeup bag is so cool. The Flat Lake Co London. As soon as I saw this, I knew that this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, all these gorgeous products to sit in. So that is my edit. I hope you liked the look. Obviously, it was, well, I didn't just show you the edit. We did a whole tutorial here today. I'm just really excited. I'm really excited. I hope you love the edit. I'll link everything that I used today down below along with my dress and my earrings and my perfume. I'll post the edit and I'll list the products as well just in case you missed anything. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you Flannels for having me as a beauty ambassador. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <sighs> Skin's looking rather radiant, if I do say so myself. Last step in my skincare routine is my, oh, there's a dog. Drop by man, it's not the time nor the place. Oh, and I'm just gonna take a couple of extra seconds to give myself some love. <laughs> I mean that you can't go it, whoa! <laughs> Give it a rub. <laughs> Just stab myself in the neck with my nail. Laura Mercier, look. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Which I've done a very good job of. My face ID doesn't recognise it, it's because I'm too flat.